all right good morning everyone so today we are going to look at an experiment that seeks to prove the particular theory of matter so initially we would have learned what matter is right matter is anything which has mass and occupies space and later on they would have theorized that matter is made up of particles and that's where we got the particular theory from now it doesn't just say that matter is made up of particles the theory states that matter is made up of particles that are in constant random motion due to the kinetic energy they contain now you don't come up with a theory without first having some evidence for it you don't just say well that's a particular theory and therefore that is you have to have some proof to show that that's why they came up with that idea so scientists would have discovered or, or observed two phenomena that occurs naturally that proves this theory and hence they came up with the theory from these observations and those two phenomena would be uh, diffusion and osmosis right so diffusion you would know is the movement of particles from an area of high particle concentration to an area of low particle concentration until the particles are evenly distributed so for example uh, a typical experiment or a typical thing that you could do at home is you could simply drop have a drop of food coloring fall into a container of water and eventually over time the entire container of water turns that color whether it's blue or pink or purple right and that shows that your particles would have moved right so today we are going to do an experiment to show this right so apart from the common everyday one uh, this is just like a variation of it right so our aim today is we want to investigate or demonstrate the diffusion of potassium permanganate crystals in water. Now, potassium permanganate is a very strong dye, right? So we don't need a lot of it to work for the experiment. So a single crystal will be enough, right? Now, since it's an experiment we are doing, we need to follow proper experimental procedure, right? So we have the procedure here, right? And of course, you would have a written listing of that procedure to follow, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to take a single crystal of potassium permanganate. We are going to put it into an empty beaker and pour water around it, right? So the idea of putting the crystal into the empty beaker and pouring water around the crystal is because we want to delay the start of diffusion. We want diffusion to start when we want it to start. So... The first thing we will do is, according to our method, is we're going to use a straw to place a crystal, a single crystal of potassium permanganate into our empty beaker, as I mentioned before, right? And we're going to continue holding that straw in place with the crystal in it, right? So it come like we have the straw inserted into the beaker over the crystal, right? Now into that beaker containing the straw we're going to pour an adequate amount of water so we shield in the crystal from the water hopefully our shield holds right so we're going to pour the water around that and then we are going to gently remove the straw as gently as possible right and you hope that the straw doesn't disturb the crystal right and once we've done that we're going to allow the crystal, we're going to leave the beaker of water alone with the crystal and we're going to observe what happens at the start and at the end. So you are to describe what you see, right? So you're going to record observations that would prove that matter is made up of particles and those particles are in constant random motion. So the observations from this experiment should show that. So Without further ado, let's get started and let's see if this works, right? Right, so let's get started with trying to investigate the diffusion of potassium permanganate in water, right? So here we have a straw, right? So we're going to use this straw to pick up a single crystal, which I have a couple of crystals here, of potassium permanganate, right? It 
looks black but it's actually a dark purple color but anyway I'm gonna just try to take up a singular crystal of this right into our straw right so in our straw you should be seeing the crystal there right so we want to put this crystal of potassium permanganate into this empty beaker we have here but we don't want to remove the straw just yet right so i'll take my beaker before i do that and show that this doesn't fall out right so i'll take my beaker put the crystal in with the straw so you want something looking like this right now i'm still holding the straw in place and you could probably still see the crystal at the bottom there so the idea is to pour water and hopefully the water doesn't get to the crystal just yet now it all depend on how firmly i hold the straw as well as if the bottom of the straw is even so we'll see but regardless of the outcome we should be able to still observe the diffusion of potassium per mango right so beaker of water and i'm going to gently pour All right, so it was not as successful as I had hoped, but we could still see that the crystal is isolated, even though water still got in. And I'm going to gently remove the straw. And now we just need to record observations for this between now and about an hour's time. So, you need to be able to tell me what you see at the start of the experiment, like what it's looking like at now. Describe what you see. And you could describe anywhere in the middle of the experiment. So, we'll come back to that soon. And we're going to look at what happens to that beaker of water with that crystal of potassium permanganate after an hour has passed. Right? So... Let's leave this running for a bit.